Welcome to today's video, where I would like to show you a new potential use case for ChatGPT in your day-to-day -day role as a project manager. Now, if you're uh, new to this channel, then you may not have actually thought of using ChatGPT until now. If you're a subscriber or a returning viewer, then you will have already noticed that I've got quite a few videos on using ChatGPT to create various different templates and undertake some of your tasks. So essentially, you may want to head over to my, my channel and check out some of my other videos if you really want to get the most out of this tool and to save yourself a lot of time. But without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to this new prompt, which I have been exploring in the last few days. So what we're going to use ChatGPT for here today is creating a racy matrix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some simple prompts, and then we're going to refine the prompt further. Uh, and we're going to suggest uh, different uh, things to the tool and see what we kind of get out. I'm going to give you some recommendations as to what to input along the way. Now, before I begin, I just want to mention that I am using ChatGPT4. This is part of the paid plan. So I'm paying $20 a month for the privilege. Uh, it is slightly better in terms of the reasoning and conciseness. Essentially, the output is a little bit better. Uh, it does take a little bit longer than if you were to use the default. And this is what's available for all free plans. So just do bear that, bear that in mind. Um, but I'll drop a link in the description below to head over to ChatGPT where you can get your account if you don't have one already. So here is the prompt that we're going to put in today. Very, very simple. We're going to start with the basics and then we'll expand further. So, so um, not how to. Um, please create a racy matrix. So obviously very, very simple. It's We're going to see what the tool does for us and then we're going to build out from it. So. As you can see, I've put that in, and the first thing it's doing is it's given us a brief uh, overview of what it is. If you're not aware already, chances are you are. But as you can see here, here's a simple racy matrix for a hypothetical software development project. And what it's doing here is absolutely brilliant. It's putting it in tabular form, which is great because it means we can export it to Excel or another tool, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. But what it's doing is it's mapping out the tasks on the left, as you can see for a software project. Um, and then it's putting in the, um, the different responsibilities uh, against the different uh, stakeholders. So this is obviously absolutely fantastic. And it's a really, really good starting place um, that we can kind of work from. And I've, as you can see, it's very, very basic. I, I just put create a racy matrix. So what we could have done, and to be honest, this response has actually gone a step further than I would have expected from the outset. So what we could do is we could put, please create a race matrix for a software project. Of course, depending on what your needs are, you could simply update that. So let's say you're working on a web design project. You could put, please create a race matrix for a web design project. And I'll run through that in a second just to show you how this would update. I'm, I'm obviously thinking that the task deliverables will change depending on what we put in there. But I love the fact it's given this this little key um, and it makes us fully aware of the role. So as an example, if we were to kind of export this, we could add this as a key. So anyone who views this gets an understanding of what all of the letters mean. So of course you probably know that's a project manager, but some of your project stakeholders may not, that this may be the first time they've seen a racy matrix. So it's a good kind of addition to uh, in include. So. We've done this. Uh, what I'm going to say now is uh, please uh, refine the matrix. So what we could do at this stage is we could start a new chat top left, probably probably better because it's going to start afresh. But what I'm going to show you now is how you can kind of add a secondary prompt and that's going to basically build upon the previous one. And that's why I'm going to add it here rather than start a new one just to show you how that kind of works. So please refine the matrix instead with a focus um, um, no, no, no. Instead, for a, that's that's probably better terminology to put in, for a web design project. So what it's going to do now is, so it said it's tailored for a web design project. And as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. We've actually, it's actually changed the roles. And, and this is likely on a web design project. You're going to have a web designer. You're going to have a content writer, a developer. So what that's the first thing I'd kind of pull out. It's absolutely fantastic for. It's it's kind of changed the roles. And that's obviously more applicable. Um, when I look at the actual task deliverables, as expected, uh, these are different. 
Not, some of them are the same, of course. We've got project planning that's going to be required on every project. Requirements gathering is, again, the same. But we've got content creation. We've got website development. We've got SEO optimization, site performance. So this is absolutely brilliant. It's, it's really refined it as, as we've asked it to, uh, to get a, a more specific racy matrix for a web design project. Now, another thing you could do is I'm just thinking of potential use cases here. You may have a set list of tasks and deliverables. Maybe you've built out a project plan already or a, or a WBS work breakdown structure. You could input them here. So you could say something like, please create a, so this again would probably be best in a new chat for this particular example. Please create a racy matrix for a web design project with the tasks as follows. And this is what you could then do. You could put a colon in there uh, and then you could simply put in, um, I'm obviously gonna copy these just for just to get this moving. Um, and I'm not gonna sit here thinking through them, but you could put things like, you could add it, uh, as I should, I should say, like this. And what that will do is it will tell ChatGPT that you definitely want to include this. Um, so what I'm trying to show you here is how you can kind of manipulate the tool to, to, to meet your needs. As I said, you may have your set list of tasks already and you just want to map the different um, roles against them. So you could you could essentially do this. So that's another prompt you could do. You could hit uh, go or submit, uh, and then it's gonna obviously update accordingly. So that's another potential way you can go. And another potential way you could go is, um, you could say something like, please create a racy matrix for a, Let's go back to the software project example. Try not to confuse the system too much. Please create a racy matrix for a software project for the following roles. And here you could input the roles specifically. So we could put something like, I'm just gonna put these ones, they kind of make sense. We're obviously gonna have project sponsor here. We're gonna have a project executive. Um, you could have on this particular project, we've got a consultant on board. Well, that could be a third party consultant. And let's say we've got a business analyst as well. So I'm gonna put that in and I've put them in quotation marks to show chat GPT we want these roles specifically. I'm gonna hit enter and we'll see what kind of comes of it. But what I'm just trying to show you with these examples, you don't have to use these examples. They're just, it's merely to create, give you ideas as to what to input into the system and how to kind of tailor it to meet your needs. And that's the key to chat GPT. The output is only as good as the input and it's all about how you set up your prompts to get the end result you're looking for. And if you can master that, then you're gonna save yourself a lot of time. So as you can see here, these roles have been updated accordingly based on what we've specified. And you know, there's no, if you're really looking for something very, very specific, there's, you know, you could, in, you could actually just um, put these all together. So you could say, please create a racy matrix for a web design project with these roles, da -da 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 -da, whatever they are, and for these tasks. And it's gonna build it out here. So absolutely brilliant. This is exactly what I was looking for and it saved me a lot of time. As you can see, this is generated in under a minute. Um, and, and the best thing is, you know, you don't have to use this. This could be a template to start from, or it could give you ideas. So in this example, let's say you've been tasked, you, you can have a project manager on a software project. It gives you ideas of some things you may want to consider or that you may have overlooked. For, as an example, this one's, probably, this one's probably a bit too kind of high level. But if I look on this one, a web design project, SEO optimization. You might not have actually thought, well, it's, if you're working on a web design project, it's it's likely you would have thought of that. But let's just say you hadn't, or it sparks off new ideas of areas to explore. So you may think, oh, I need to get in contact um, with the you know developer on the S SEO optimization. Um, you know, it maybe it just it just sparks your, your mind and gets you thinking. That's what I really really like about this tool. It kind of it's a really good base uh, to work from. But the fun thing I'm going to show you before we finish up, I realize this video has gone for some time, is what do you do once you've kind of built it in uh, ChatGPT? Well, where do you go from there? Well, you can copy and paste this to Excel very, very easily. So what you essentially do is with your mouse, left click and drag, as you would in most kind of uh, interfaces on, on, on a computer or laptop or uh, you know other device. Um, I'm going to press Control C and open up Excel. So blank Excel under the paste. I'm going to put, um, well, we have two options. We could use the keep source formatting. And what I like about this is it gives us that kind of, um, we've actually got like kind of a table. We've got that table built here. So we've kind of got the gray shading and it differentiates it from the kind of empty 
empty uh, cells. So that's obviously great, but I don't know if you saw quickly there on the, uh, on the hover, um, we can also just match the destination formatting. So essentially no formatting, but it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. You know, it's, it's pulled this into Excel. From here, you know, we could make some simple formatting adjustments. We could bold this. We could then just put this in like a gray as an example. I don't know, put this in a white. You know, you could you could tailor this to meet, uh, tailor this to meet your kind of company's um, branding or what have you. You could then obviously center these. You know, that looks much better in a racy matrix. Um, so you could do things like that. And then once that's done, obviously save up. You could send this out as an Excel. You could pull this into a PowerPoint. Or if you're working with another project management software, you actually could save this and most of them enable you to import from Excel. So you could actually do that as well. Uh, so yeah, I hope this video is useful. I'm not gonna go any further here today. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos like this and do consider subscribing uh, to the channel. If you head over to my channel, um, you will notice there's various different playlists on learning different aspects of project uh, management methodology. Um, there's various different uh, training on different software, um, such as Smartsheet or Asana, if you're using one of those, or maybe if you're using Excel and you want to create some project management templates, there's there's actually a whole playlist for that. So with all of that said, check out, check out the channel, subscribe, and I hope you have an excellent day.